Want to get your waist snatched? Try fasting. Even better yet, OMAD, the happy medium between fasting and eating. I lost a lot of weight with OMAD and a lot of that weight was concentrated in my stomach. My stomach literally leaned out to the leanest I've ever seen it. And I was trying to figure out why, but in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three reasons why OMAD targets that stubborn, stubborn belly fat. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Yella Joy. I made this transformation with one meal a day. I started my overall weight loss journey at 282 pounds. I lost the weight with a combination. First started off with the keto diet, which is very similar to being in a fasted state. Keto diet is basically a fasted state diet. And I did low carb, counting calories. It wasn't until I hit 229 pounds after getting into a car accident a few years ago that I decided to try OMAD. My reasoning why I tried OMAD, I wanted to use it as a tool to help me start, stop binge eating because I struggle with binge eating and overeating. But that struggle doesn't exist anymore thanks to my journey with one meal a day and i'm currently eating throughout the day and i'm in control my satiety signals are on point they're cleaned up i don't feel the urge to binge i don't crave junk food at all and i owe it all to literally my journey with omad i'm not done with omad i do plan on doing omad in a couple of days. <laughs> right now I'm training to be a bodybuilder. But anyway, let's get into the details as to why fasting in OMAD and any diet that puts you in a fasting state. So a fasting state is where you're making the metabolic switch. You're switching from burning your fat as fuel as opposed to burning sugar as fuel, external sugar. It's a state where your body goes in and starts digging in those deep storage fat. And that fat that our body tends to store, it happens around our waist. Getting rid of that visceral fat and that subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous fat is the fat that's under the skin and it is an indication of metabolic health. So doing a metabolic diet that puts you in the metabolic switch will help eliminate these unhealthy excess of these types of fat. So let's jump into it. Reason number one, is insulin so when you are in a fasted state your insulin levels decrease and when your insulin levels decrease your body's at a state where it's not storing sugar for fuel later on it's actually promoting a situation where your body is going in and digging up the stored sugar and the stored fat for energy also, when we eat, insulin spikes. Now, it depends on how you eat. If you're eating foods that really spike your insulin, you're gonna get insulin flooded to your system. We are starting to learn that it is actually the excess of insulin in the human system that is actually causing a lot of diseases. I know Dr. Robert Lutstang talked about it on a podcast with Andrew Huberman, and he did a study with basically a bunch of rats and one of the rats was not getting exposed to sugar it was getting exposed strictly to insulin in their kidneys and basically their kidneys was damaged so we're learning that excess insulin is actually causing a lot of metabolic harm so fasting also helps to get rid of that excess insulin that is generally stored around our waist number two human growth hormone when we fast, I believe around 13 hours of fasting, that's when human growth hormone is produced. HDH is a hormone that definitely helps in fat metabolism, and it also helps in promoting muscle. So if you are working out and you're exercising and you go on a fast, you are producing human growth hormone, hormone which can also aid in the production of building muscle and again, burning fat. And number three, norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is a hormone that's produced by our nervous system. So basically this hormone is instructed by our nervous system when we are fasting, this happens in a fasted state, that it tells our nervous system to produce this hormone to go inside our fat cells 
and start breaking down fat into fatty acids. So these fatty acids can be used as fuel later on. So those are three reasons why fasting targets belly fat or any fast mimicking diet, a diet that puts your blood sugar low. Um, and it explains why, I just never really understood, but like I would do other diets and it never would target that belly fat. It wasn't until I started time restricted eating with OMAD or when I did the keto diet, especially combining both of them, keto and OMAD, did I really see that waist snatch down. Anyway, I just thought I would share this video quickly with you guys. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word or the number 7,000 because I hit 7,000 subscrib subscribers today and I'm pretty mind blown by it. Thank you everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.